It's a gorgeous drive any time of the year, but seeing the snow-covered Sierra makes travel to Tahoe extra special. Oh, the trees. I love the trees. So uh, nature and everything about it. John Scabland and his wife drove a long way to get to Tahoe, nearly 800 miles from Mesa, Arizona. Traffic's been great and it's the weather was perfect, so it's nice to have snow, but not have to drive in it. They met their sister-in-law, who drove in from Alameda. Super grateful in California <laughs> right now. And that we can come and see a little snow, but not experience the snow. Tahoe travelers take advantage of the mild temperatures and stunning scenery. Easy drive today, no ice, no snow. No, not really any traffic to speak of. It was beautiful. Paul England and his friends didn't have to travel as far. From Roseville and Placerville, they continued their decades-long tradition of taking a holiday day trip to the nearby mountains. The weather in California is hard to beat. Uh, <laughs> even winter type weather like this. Oh, it's good, because he's driving, so. <laughs> yeah, my friend Paul, I just drive to Placerville and he drives up from there. Some travelers took an even shorter trip on Highway 50, not going all the way to Tahoe. We just came up to bring our grandkids to the snow. Instead, families like the Cortapassis stopped about 50 miles east of Sacramento on a designated snow hill for some sledding and tubing fun. Cortapassi was short on time. They're done now and we're headed back down to Sacramento because I'm flying to Disneyland. To, to hang out with my other grandkids. No matter your destination, whether it's the stunning and beautiful Lake Tahoe or you're just going across town to grandma's house, Northern Californians are getting the best gift of good weather this holiday weekend. Reporting in South Lake Tahoe, Michelle Vandewer, KCRA 3 News.